Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dunn. I might explode to one. Let's crack it to another one. TNT. Huh? Uh. <laughs> hi. Right. Um. So, I've had a couple people tell me things about myself lately. Uh oh. And I'm trying. I want to get your your opinion. Uh oh. So on this. So Uh-oh. I'm not sure if it should be the personality trait one first or the who I look like first. Uh oh. L- l- let's keep everyone baited with breath. Which one do you Which one do you want to go with first? What do you mean? What is? Let's just go with the look like one. That one's okay. I have had. I've never once in my life had anyone ask me if anyone's told me that I look like this person. Sure. And then in the last. Two weeks, I've had two chicks on dating sites be like, has anyone ever told you that you look like... I swear to God, if you say Brad Pitt... This, <laughs> this, this is... Chris Hemsworth. Uh, this is Simon Pegg. I don't see it. From from Shaun on the Dead, right? Like, I don't, I don't see, see it, it either. And I'm I like, where? It. What? No. I was like, is that a good thing? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which one is he? He's the Shaun of the Dead guy. The, uh, yeah, no, but there's two of them. Oh, not the chubby one. The other one. Thanks for... Thanks for pigeonhole me into the chubby I, I was spot. just asking because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know which one he was. Which one? What's the other guy's name? I don't know. I don't even know. I didn't even know that guy's name was Simon Pegg. I had to Google him. What? You didn't know Simon Pegg's name was Simon Pegg? I mean, sure. I'm not, I mean, well, I'm not a huge fan of his. No, um, I'm going to have to say is that them chicks are insane because um, I don't see that at all. Okay. If I was to say anybody... Well, the chubby guy from <laughs> the chubby Maybe guy. Maybe the other <laughs> guy from the Shadow of Dead movies. No. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think look I look like. like anybody famous. No, not really. No. I uh I had a guy one day at work. You got a little Dom DeLuise. Oh, oh wow, thanks, Flatter. I don't Gary know. Is Miller. that not is he not an attractive guy? I don't know. Man's dead. Jonas, yeah. have some respect. It's all right to look like a dead man. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I had a guy tell me I looked like somebody off Ninja Warrior, and I was like, I don't think that's How true. is that somebody off of Ninja Warrior? Yeah, like a contestant? Yeah, I guess a so. Host? I didn't know who. I had to Google him, and I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, that guy's like a CrossFit guy. I'm not that guy. You look Asian, apparently. Uh, is that only... What? <laughs> you look Asian, apparently. And then I had two people... In the same day, asked me if I had ADHD. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, I could see that. Oh wow. Okay. I'm sorry. What do you want me? You want me? To... I'm just trying to get to the bottom of who you think I am. What do you want Obviously, me to say? I look like the a Dom DeLuise with with ADHD. Look up Dom DeLuise real quick. I gotta see what he looks like because I'm not even familiar. Oh yeah, you're gonna look look him up. Oh yeah. I'm not. Well, yeah. I'm not looking him up because I don't know where my phone is. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell a person who they look like. Yeah. Oh, I feel you. Like I've never. I've... I, used, I used to get. Uh, I used to get. I don't know. This is this is gonna. Denzel. No. Oh. No. No. I used to get. Uh, do, do you know? Are you familiar with uh, Dwayne Wayne from a different world? Yeah. Yeah. Kadeem, Kadeem Hardison, I believe, is his yeah, name. Yeah, but like, was that? That's like without a beard, though, right? I mean, yeah, I used to get him like in my earlier days. Your young, <clears throat> young buck. Yeah, honestly, back when I used to have glasses, people used to say it a lot because he wore glasses. But you didn't even have a beard back then either, because that dude didn't have a beard. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That would be like saying someone like that'd be like me, be, me with a beard, being like, "Oh yeah, you look like Tim Allen." Tim Allen doesn't have a beard. How could I look like Tim Allen? You could still look like Tim Allen with a beard. Could I? Yeah. Hundred percent. I probably look like more like Al Borland than anything. You got a little Borland. Oh, <laughs> Borland in you. Got you. A little Borland in you. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what what's the uh, what's the point of uh, these women asking you this? Is, I don't know. Just, is, that, is that them trying to flirt with me? Because it's not very effective. It makes me want to talk to them less. <laughs> Tell me, I look like an actor I don't like. Doesn't make doesn't really <laughs> actor. You like that? He's an all right actor. I mean, I he's, mean a, he's okay. Yeah. What about the the ADD thing? How how's that one strike you? Oh, I don't care. You don't care? No, I've had uh, I've had, <laughs> I had I've had people. My therapist tells me the same thing. That's what you're supposed to say. What? That your therapist tells you the same thing. That my therapist tells me I have ADHD. Yeah. Oh no, they didn't tell me that. Okay. But uh, and it was like I've had, I have a friend who has ADHD, and they have told me they thought that I might have it. 
but like an, not enough that it inhibits i've never it's never held me back in life like my executive mm-hmm. function is very high like so yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's so like i've never been tested so i might have some of it yeah but I think, uh, I think a, lot, a lot of people uh, kind of delve into that lake. That seems like a pretty, a pretty uh, popular place to go when it comes to like you know the uh, disorders, I guess. Uh, well, I think I think it's like it's like anything. You don't really like test yourself for something unless it's like a problem. Yeah, it's like no one considers himself an alcoholic until like it's a problem and they can't function. Yeah, I don't know what the state is on like ADHD anymore. Is it over diagnosed? If it's under diagnosed, I'm not sure. I have no idea. I mean, I I think that I might even fit on the spectrum somewhere, but obviously, you know, it's not enough to hold you back from no. like life, right? Like, yeah. So I don't know, man. Because um, I mean, it, it, especially with something like ADHD, it's very. It's I mean, there's a scale of like. So you've had speculations before, anyway. So, Who, me? Yeah. But two people on the same day? That's kind of weird. Is it kind of weird? Or is it just like, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm asking you for your opinion. <laughs> or is it like, you know, oh, okay, I already kind of had these these ideas. Casey, that I don't understand the world, and I need you to help break it down I don't think that's what you're saying. I think that she... <laughs> All I'm saying is that, okay, so two people told you something that, uh, you know, you already had some inkling of. So I uh, guess, yeah. Does that, does that make you mad? Are you going to see the, the young ladies again? Oh, no. These were – one was a person I saw and no. The other was just a friend. And then these – the one person who said something about Simon Pegg, I didn't respond. And the second one, um, I was like, who is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? And she said, good, that she adores him. And I don't know what to say to that because I'm not sure if I'm interested in general. No, oh, okay. Fair enough. And then I had another experience it's recently. a little bit more information than I thought I would get out of you. Yeah, yeah, and then I had another experience on a dating site I wanted to tell you about. So, like, I, uh, you know, I asked, like, this girl and I matched or whatever, and, like, I sent her a message, and, and like, I asked her something, like, oh, what are, your ho- like, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do? And they were like, oh, I like to do these things, like, crafty things or, like, whatever. And then, like, I didn't respond because I was busy. And, like, so the next day, they just, out of the blue, like, <laughs> sent me another message that all it said was, I'm 420 friendly, FYI. And I was like, what? What does that mean exactly? She smokes weed, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, I get But it. I don't know why. Like, like you, you replied to my message. You were waiting for me to reply back to you. And then you just sent me a message out of the blue that was just like, I smoke weed, too. Uh, like, I was like... Like that was gonna like make me respond faster. Then, like two days later, I got a message that said, "I'm gonna unmatch tomorrow if you're not interested in chatting." And I was like, "Lady, I have a life." Oh, I love an ultimatum. Type. Yeah. So what did I do? I unmatched her. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I got- love an ultimatum. Type. You know, it's it's always hilarious to me when I when I look at like dating websites and and the females that are involved in this. It's like as a guy, we have a certain like idea of like how females are supposed to behave when it comes to like the courtship and the and the dating. And Do you know, we? The, the, I mean, yeah, we have an idea. We have an idea I mean, because I when 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 they de- deviate from what our ideal is, and we're just like, what is wrong with this chick? <laughs> Case in point. Oh, like the, I'm going to unmatch with you if you don't respond to yeah. me. I'm like, well, then, okay, bye. Yeah, like, obviously, that's not the ideal response that you would expect. And I feel like women have that same ideal. That's but, true. But what I have to say is, like, going into this, we got to look at you're on a, a dating website, whether it be, like, Tinder or uh, OkCupid or Plenty of Fish or whatever. Yeah, I look at it, man. It's like, you know, depending on your age range, in our 20s, it was perfectly fine, you know, and you'd just be interested, you jump on, maybe make an account, ha ha, he he, maybe meet a guy, maybe SSD, you know, if you're, if you're a girl, you know? Okay. <laughs> if you're a guy, you know, same thing, except there's no D involved. In okay, it. right, right. <clears throat> but once, once you get to a certain age group, it's kind of like, uh, oh, so, you know, you're, you're in your, your, your late 30s, you're, over 30, you're, five. Over, you're in your mid 30s. And uh, you still haven't found a guy who can, you know, put up with your BS. But it's S- not same right. goes for men. Same right, right. goes for men. 
And it's like, I hate to say it, man, but at a certain point, it's like you the women. up? No. Oh, okay. No, the women have a certain degree of just uh, broken. And guys as well are just a little bit broken once it gets to a certain point. Huh. And that's not to say it's that the people in these quote unquote healthy relationships are not broken as well. They just well. already found someone to latch onto. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're just broken with somebody. Is Whereas, it better to be broken with someone or broken alone? I would say is that it's always good to have a, a co pilot for the journey. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you that and then we can end because we're about we're about out of time. Yeah, but like yeah. I always thought being alone and not having being lonely when you were alone sucks. But being lonely when you're with someone is ten times worse. True. Yeah, like it's like if you're in a relationship and you're still feeling lonely, like that shit's awful because you can't even then go look for somebody else. You're just like stuck in like a lonely That's that's pretty Yeah. Cool. It was like it was like, whoa. Matrix. So, anyways, yeah, that's that's that. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.